Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews. And here is another comparison about controlling your phone with your voice, but this time it's not about Google Assistant or Siri. However, in this video, I will compare Google Voice Access versus Apple Voice Control. And I have here my Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And if you are not familiar with those features, they simply allow you to fully control your device as if you are using your hands, but with your voice. So let me show you an example here. Swipe left. Swipe right. and so on so as you see i can control my phone with my voice i can tell it to do whatever i want so let's check which one is smarter but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time i post a new video so let's jump in And the comparison will be as follows. I chose six different tasks that I will try to do on each device completely hands-free, only using my voice. And you can see them now on the screen. So let's start the comparison and see how far I can get on each device. So task number one is to navigate in the home screen, third-party apps, native apps, and change some settings. Swipe left. Swipe left. Swipe left, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right. So as you see, the iPhone was better in the home screen navigation because the Pixel 4 XL didn't respond to some of the commands I mentioned and I had to repeat it twice. So let's jump to the next one. Open Facebook. Scroll down. Scroll down. Go home. Open Instagram. Scroll down. Scroll down. Go home. Open photos. Open photos. Scroll up. Scroll down. Scroll down. Go home. Go home. Open YouTube. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Go home. So once more, the iPhone was a lot better in apps navigation. It supported the scrolling in each and every app, either third party or native app. While on the Pixel 4 XL, the scrolling worked only in the Photos app and it didn't work in any other app, even on YouTube, which is supposed to be a native app on the Pixel 4 XL, didn't support scrolling. So the win goes to the iPhone in this part. Also, the Pixel 4 was a little bit buggy and it didn't respond to some of the commands from the first time and I had to repeat it twice. And that's also a win for the iPhone. Now let's change some settings and I will do this separately because I will use slightly different commands on both devices and I don't want to overlap between the two. Let's start with the Pixel. Show quick settings. Show quick settings. Tap 8. Tap 8. Tap 8. Turn on flashlight. Turn off flashlight. Tap 10. Tap 10. Turn on Bluetooth. Go home. 
go home. Let's try the same on the iPhone. Show control center. Tab 15. Tab 15. Turn on flashlight. Tab 6. Turn off Bluetooth. Turn on Bluetooth. Tab 6. Go home. So as you saw, there are a slight differences between the two. The Pixel 4 XL responded to my commands in two different ways. I can either say tap the number or I can say the actual command I want like turn on flashlight or turn off Bluetooth. While on the iPhone, you can only use the numbers. I'm not sure why, because you still can ask the iPhone to open Instagram or Facebook and so on. But when it comes to changing the settings, you have to mention a specific number. On the other hand, the iPhone was more responsive with less number of errors. It also shows you some tips at the top of the screen in case if you are not using the correct command. And I found this very helpful. You don't need to ask about anything. It just gives you the hint so you can improve the way you use your voice control over time. So when it comes to the first task, I think the iPhone was a lot better in many ways. So let's move on to the next one. Task number two is to open YouTube and search for a 4K video and play it. So I will start with the pixel. Open YouTube. Search. Search. 4K video. Nine. Cancel voice access. Go home. Let's try that on the iPhone. Open YouTube. Tap search. Tap search. 4K video. Tap search. Tap 44. Tap 7. Go home. In this task, both devices had their own issues. The Pixel and the iPhone didn't respond to the word search at the beginning of the task from the first time. However, the Pixel was better in the search. Once I finished the word 4K video, it started the search automatically. While on the iPhone, I had to say another command to search for the video. But on the other hand, the iPhone played the video straight away. I didn't have any issues. While on the Pixel 4, the voice access was overlapping with the YouTube video, so I had to cancel the voice access to be able to play the YouTube video. So I will call this one a draw because each device had issues with it. Third task is to post a tweet on Twitter. Let's start with the Pixel. Open Twitter. Two. Tap two. Tap two. 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 Eight. Eight. This is a test. 11 11 11 Go home Go home Let's try that on the iPhone Open Twitter 14 this is a test. Two. Tap OK. Go home. 
So as you saw, the Pixel 4 XL had a lot of issues. Sometimes it doesn't respond to my commands even after the second or the third time. And also sometimes it gets the words I'm saying incorrectly. While the iPhone did it from the first time with no mistakes. So the win goes definitely to the iPhone in this task. Fourth task is to share a photo on Instagram. Let's start with the Pixel. Open photos. Scroll up. Scroll up. 16. 8. 8. 8. 8. Share. Share. Share on Instagram. Share on Instagram. Go home. Open photos. Share on Instagram. Swipe left. Swipe right. Go home. Let's try that on the iPhone. Open photos. Scroll up. Scroll up. 13 4 Swipe left Swipe right Share on Instagram Share on Instagram Scroll down Scroll up 8 Two. Go home. As you saw, the task on the Pixel 4 was a disaster. First, it didn't respond to my command after many times saying the number 8 to tap on the share button. It only responded when I said share and the share sheet started to show up. Also didn't allow me to swipe left or right. It stuck on the same photo I selected previously. Finally, the Instagram option was not showing on the screen and I had to scroll to be able to reach it. However, I couldn't find a way to use my voice and to scroll through the share sheet. So I canceled the whole task on the Pixel 4 XL. However, the iPhone was better in many ways. First, it allowed me to scroll after selecting the photo so I can select multiple images. Secondly, it allowed me to scroll up and down in the share sheet, which is not the option on the Pixel 4. But I had to say that the iPhone also didn't allow me to scroll horizontally between the apps. However, the Instagram option was already available on the first part, so I managed to uh, share the photo without any issues. So the win goes to the iPhone one more time in sharing an Instagram photo using the voice control. Task number five is to reply to a WhatsApp notification from your notification shade. Let's start with the pixel. Show notifications. 14. 14 Hi Type Hi 24 Go home Let's try that on the iPhone Show notifications Show notifications Tap on two. Tap on hold two. Hi. Six. Go home. 
as you saw the experience was a lot seamless on the iPhone and I managed to do the task in few seconds while on the pixel I had to repeat myself twice in typing the message when I said hi it didn't type anything and when I said type hi it wrote hai instead of hi which is incorrect so overall one more time the win goes to the iPhone and the final task is text editing so we're gonna try how we can edit text using the voice control and voice access and which one is better let's start with the pixel open keep notes 10 10 this is a test message select message Select message. Delete. Delete. Replace test with text. Select all. Select text. Select all text. Select all text. Delete. Let's try that on the iPhone. Open notes. New note. Tap new note. This is a test message. Select message. Delete. Select delete. Delete word. Replace test with text. Two. Select all text. Delete. Select all text. Delete text. Select all text. Delete line. As you saw, both of them didn't do well when it comes to text editing. However, the iPhone is still slightly better than the Pixel 4 in text editing because it at least gives you hints about the right commands to use so that's pretty much it for today and i have to say voice control was a lot better than voice access and that was the opposite to my expectations especially that in my testing google assistant was a lot better than siri so i expected the same here However, it seems that Google need to work on voice access to compete with Apple. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.